All right. I believe that we should be live. It's always funny because, you know, it says live here on Zoom and on Facebook is still saying, we're still setting it up and redirecting. It looks but like it we looks, are live. It looks like we're there. So, yay. yay. <laughs> and let me uh, turn the audio off on that. <laughs> Move this over in such a way that I can then see any comments that we get. We've got a few folks already watching us. So Ooh, hello, welcome everyone. to everyone that has uh, has joined us. Very excited to have you join me and my good friend, Melanie Moore. I'm so and, excited to be here. Thank you for having me. And here's a, a wardrobe surprise that Mel doesn't even know about. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I have my tap with Mel shirt. Oh, I should have put my tap with Brad. I thought about telling on. you about that. So these are t-shirts that our friend uh, Alex Giros in Russia made for us. He had originally made tap with Brad shirts for when I came, when he brought me over to speak in Russia uh, back in 2019. And then, uh, and then he made shirts. He made shirts with his picture and made shirts with uh, Mel's picture and. Uh, and gave this to me. Oh, Brad, you should have told me. I would have put my tap with Brad one on. I know, but I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh. <laughs> and that's why when I, when I sent you the link again for this call and I said, I'll be there in just a minute. Cause I was like, oh, I forgot to put the shirt on. <laughs> I love it. I love that you've, I love that you've kept it. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, I was cleaning out uh, clothes recently and it's like, I've got this picture with your picture, this t-shirt with your picture, this t-shirt with Alex's picture, and the two of, of my picture that he say, gave me. Well, one day it could be worth a fortune. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm holding on to it. <laughs> got to get you to sign it. Oh, dear. Anyhow, oh, boy, that day. was it. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Laura. <laughs> uh, that was uh, an unexpected tangent. Anyhow. <laughs> Okay, back to being here, of, uh, back to being focused. So right. we are here to talk about, in particular, the, uh, the Tapping Into Your Big Vision live event happening at the end of the month that starts tomorrow. Tomorrow is July, and on the end of the month, uh, July 31st, of July. Yeah. a whole bunch of us are, are getting together to do a live presentation. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So one month to go. The countdown is on. <laughs> and I'm glad yeah. that's that more of it is, uh, is up to your admin team than mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, it, it now it feels real because obviously Jackie and I, we've been well, well, we all have been talking about it, I think, since about March now. And um, yeah, and it's, it's exciting to um, to see and a bit nerve wracking that it's oh, do some tapping that it's that it's going to be happening very very soon so yeah um well it's a cool event we're uh coming together with with a bunch of our friends who are all uh, known entities in this uh interesting tapping world uh, obviously you mentioned jackie crooks eft master uh, who I have known for a very long time and introduced you to uh, in London a couple years back. Uh, my good friend Steve Wells and Tamara Don and Andy Bryce. And who am I missing? You've them all now, haven't you? Uh, yes, yes. So last but not least, um, <laughs> me. <laughs> I thought I'd give you a little bit of a break because I knew you saw you interviewed the others quite um, quite closely together. Well, and I needed I needed that time to prepare, you know, and to practice on them before I would be ready for the magnificence that is Mel. Oh, bless you, bless you! Oh my goodness <laughs> me! Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was that back to I think it's it was the last time you were in the UK, wasn't it? That we that you introduced me to Jackie, and um, we had that lovely dinner out in Covent Garden, and and Jackie yeah. And, uh, Emma Roberts, another yeah. EFT master. Yeah, and it was such a lovely evening. And and Jackie and I, we've been tapping on a regular basis pretty much um, ever since. And it's been so lovely to, I think as a healer, as a practitioner, 
you know we're often working with our own clients that it's it's really I think important to work with another practitioner that can help you see beyond your own stuff yeah because we yeah. that's the thing is we stop ourselves from seeing what gets in our way you know we we can talk about our big vision or we mm -hmm. stop ourselves from talking about our big vision and because part of us says yeah it's not safe and when we go to do tapping on it there's a part of us that goes well, I'll let you know some other things you can tap on, but not this, because if I let you know what you need to tap on, then you're going to clear it and you're going to go have this big vision that we've already decided is not safe for you. Mm. So we yeah. brilliantly stop ourselves from seeing those things that, uh, that we need to see in order to be free. And that's when we, we need a fresh pair of eyes and, and someone who is not invested in our comfort zone like we are. Exactly, exactly. And I think that's what the, the tapping into your big vision event is all about. We, um, um, you know, because that, that's a big part of my work. I do believe that a lot of us, um, we limit, you know, what we feel is possible in our own lives. And, you know, because of that whole comfort zone, that fear of the unknown, but you know, I, and I love to stretch people. I love to get people uncomfortable. And um, so, yeah, in my work as big vision coach, um, th that's what I do. I, I, I love doing it. And I get so excited about it when I see people talk to people. It's, it's weird. It's like this kind of sixth sense that I see this bigger vision for people. And, and obviously I can, all I can do is, um, you know, share what I kind of intuitively feel, but then it's up to people to then kind of do the work to get out of their own way and to, you know, to step into that vision of what's possible. And, and I think this event is, is kind of taking what I do, but um, just bringing in the big guns and bringing in the, the team effort to really, I think, help people to tap for a whole day. Because I think a lot of us, you know, when we, when, they do tapping when they come across, you know, one of your videos on YouTube and, you know, or one of mine. Um, it's, you know, a five to 10 minute tapping experience, which gives a great, you know, motivational boost or clears in the moment. But I think when you do it for a whole day, and certainly when I've been to one of your workshops, I think the only times I ever tap for a whole day or one of your workshops or, um, or, or, you know, when I've, been in training or furthered my own development with you know Tamara and Peter um, because we get such deeper shifts don't we when we tap for a whole day right because we're in that process we're peeling layers of the onion and then we find something new and it's like okay now let's take that next level and that next level and really allowing ourselves to be free from that and the exciting thing about this also is that we get different things from different people there is there are different ways of tapping. Certainly, uh, when Steve and I were supposed to do our live events in the east and west coast of the U.S. and east and west coast of Australia last year, until this you know little thing called the pandemic put the kibosh on that, uh, and then we took it online. And Steve and I have such different ways of tapping, and it's exciting to see how people really respond to that because. You know, they get some of this and then some of that, and it creates these shifts. So having six of us, each with our own unique gifts and talents to share, can create these openings for, for folks that they may not get just uh, just working with one particular individual. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I think we all bring kind of different um, skills and perspectives and perspectives to the table. Um, so I don't know if you can see my dog there in the background. Yes, just very barely, just a little bit of... <laughs> she, my, my son is meant to be um, looking after her in his room and I think he's forgotten all about her. So, <laughs> so we're going to, um, we might have to... Um... Sometimes our pets show up. I don't know if you saw the picture of when the, my cat came up behind me and yeah. I had these little cat ears because she was right behind me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really sorry to do this to you, Brad, because she's, oh, no, she is going to um, get worse and worse. So um, do you want to just share people the, the flow of the day, starting with Jackie, and then I will be 30 sec 20 seconds. 
So I'm just going to vamp while you're. Uh... Yeah, because she's just not going to stop. She needs. I think she needs to go out. Sorry, with you. I'm so sorry. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to. And I'm going to tap all the way there and all the way back. <laughs> I'm going to pull up the website, which you can find at tapwithbrad.com forward slash big vision. And the link is up there in the um, info box on this video. And let me tell you what's going to happen. So it's uh, Mel and Jackie have planned this out as, as a whole event to, you know, in a particular way with uh, a sequence of, of tapping rounds. So it will begin with Jackie clearing ancestral and family patterns. Steve will be releasing resistance to amazing possibilities. Mel will be tapping into the big vision, expanding dreams and possibilities. Tomorrow we'll be talking about bringing spirit, uh, bringing spirit into matter, grounding yourself and ground your vision. Andy will take us through some tapping on the art of receiving. And then I'm gonna uh, close out the day about tapping into greater abundance and clearing those reasons why we couldn't or shouldn't have more awesomeness in our lives, including financial abundance among uh, an abundance of health, wealth, and happiness. Yeah, and I, I, I love the flow of the day, you know, even if I may say so myself. Um, yes, because, you may. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, when I was thinking, when I was talking to Jackie about the kind of tapping event that I would love to attend, I think this would be it. And I'm not just saying that, um, but it really does because, you know, because because I've Jackie's specialism is the ancestral stuff and the stuff that we bring through, down the family line. Um, I don't think people realize how many family stories that we hold on to that um, literally stop us from, you know, taking action from from all sorts of things. And then, of course, and there's the stuff we pick up, you know, in this lifetime. I love how Steve calls it the BS, the belief system. Um, because, yeah, all these belief systems that we pick up from society, from our childhood, that, that thing the teacher told us once that we've just never forgotten. And, yeah, and if we can just clear that ancestral stuff, clear the stuff from this lifetime, oh, my goodness, the slate is then clean to, like, sow the seeds of the big vision to kind of think, oh my gosh, you know, what is out there? What is available for me? That, that um, motto that we, we have like a family motto on our family crest that might be, you don't get to have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, you know, and I remember so, you tapping on that in London, um, that whole, you know, people like us. Um, yeah. I really remember that. Round people like us don't, don't have this, you know, and I would dishonor my family if I did that. I, Valerie was asking, what's the most common block to a big vision? And that's the thing is there are so many different things. Mm. I, I, when well, you said that, that thing that someone said to us years ago, I just was working with a, a client in my mastermind and she was talking about something that somebody had said to her outside of a store when she was six years old. And she still remembered how the person said it and visibly and it's like, yeah. And these things, things that we would logically say, oh, it's an innocuous thing. It doesn't really matter. Mm. And being able to uh, recognize, okay, that's still there. And it is, I'm listening to that. And I'm just going down the path of life, big vision. No, this little thing keeps just edging me back here. Mm. So um Vicky, I do have a video on um, clearing an ancestral uh, stuff that, that was part of the, the Facebook Live I did last year uh, with my friend Shakita Williams on, on racial issues. And at the end of that presentation, I did a, a tapping round on clearing ancestral trauma and ancestral baggage. So uh, you can find that on my YouTube channel. But another uh, another one of those things that stops us sometimes from a big vision is the idea that we're not big enough to have that vision, that we're kind of a fraud. And uh, <laughs> a good friend of mine was saying that this came up last year. So the great thing is with uh, some, some of the folks, the six people in this have just met for the first time. I've known everyone in this group for, for years. And, uh, and introduced, so in, in 2019, when I was last in London at, at dinner, introduced Mel to, uh, to Emma and Jackie 
EFT masters. And, and so how did that make you feel, Mel? Well, <laughs> I felt like I was at the wrong table. I, I was thinking, grown up you know, table. <laughs> yes, it felt, yes, it felt like, yeah, you know, you, when you're a child, you have to sit at the children's table and yeah, it felt, I felt like a bit of a, an imposter. Um, it was a bit like, gosh, you know, we've got EFT masters here, you know, the, the founding masters, we've got Brad Yates, you know, the YouTube superstar tapping wizard. And, um, and then there's little old me. <laughs> tapping, tapping, everybody be tapping. Uh, while we're here, go ahead and tap on any thoughts you have of little old me. <laughs> mm. And you no, know, I think it's so true because yeah you, you were very kind and you know you all said lovely things and and i did feel healed of imposter syndrome um that evening but yeah it is something that comes up for so many of us particularly when we compare ourselves to others we can we we can think oh my gosh that person's so much better than me they're so much more successful than me um you know who am i to be doing this or there's so many other people doing that thing already what's the point of me even getting started you know I'll just not bother um so I thought that might be a fun round of tapping for us to do together because the world needs us to get over that and bother that part is just, you know why should I bother because the world needs our gifts and talents that's why we have them <laughs> mm, yeah and and then I think we all bring a different style you know it's, it's like, you know, sometimes, you know, with my clients, if, you know, there's, you know, how boring would the world be if there was just one musician or one author or um, um, one Italian cookery writer? I don't know right. what that came from. Or one yeah. tapper. <laughs> exactly. People, I, I've had people say to me, people who are EFT practitioners say, well, you have so many videos out there. What's the point of me making videos? Like, because people will hear something from you that they won't hear from me. Mm. You are going to say it in a way that some people could not hear it from anybody else. Mm. We each have a unique gift and talent. If, if it was God, universe's creator's intention that there should just be one person who did tapping or music or Italian cookery, <laughs> then that would have been how it was <laughs> yeah you know and we each have our our own thing that we bring to it so everyone watching this you have your own unique gift and uh so so mel why don't you get us started and we'll we'll just switch back and forth and uh and, yeah, and clear some fun. of that uh, stuff okay so yeah so anyone tapping along with us just think about you know if there's something that you want to do to launch to create um, but there's a part of you that feels, you know, I can't do this, or I feel like a bit of a fraud. Who am I to do this? Yeah. Who do I think I am? Even though. Even though. There's this thing that I want to do. There's this thing that I want to do. But who am I to be doing it? But who am I to be doing it? Because there are so many other people doing it. Because there are so many other people doing it so much better than me they're so much better than me so much more qualified than me so much more qualified than me so perhaps i won't even bother so perhaps i won't even bother because it feels scary to try because it feels scary to try and i'm not sure how to get started i'm not sure how to get started <sighs> requires so much effort it requires so much effort and I just feel like a fraud for even thinking about it. And I just feel like a fraud for even thinking about it. And even though I feel like an imposter. And even though I feel like an imposter. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though this story. Even though this story. May have its roots. May have its roots. Somewhere in the distant past somewhere in the distant past maybe i tried something once maybe i tried something once and i failed and i failed and i got laughed at 
and I got laughed at. And I don't want people to laugh at me again. And I don't want people to laugh at me again. So it feels safer to not try. So it feels safer to not try. I choose to deeply and completely. I choose to deeply and completely. Love and honor myself anyway. Love and honor myself anyway. And even though. And even though. I just feel like an imposter. I just feel like an imposter. And maybe it's time to let this go now. Maybe it's time to let this go now. And maybe it's time to tell myself a new story. Maybe it's time to tell myself a new story. And I'm ready to heal this story. And I'm ready to heal this story. And I choose to deeply and completely. I choose to deeply and completely. Love and forgive myself. Love and forgive myself. And anyone else who may have contributed to this story. And anyone else who may have contributed to this story. Okay. Do you want to take over? Sure. Okay. This old story. This old story. About me not being good enough. About me not being good enough. About me being an imposter. About me being an imposter. About me being a fraud. About me being a fraud. Who am I to have a big vision? Who am I to have a big vision? Sometimes I ask myself. Sometimes I ask myself. Who am I to even have a teeny tiny vision? <laughs> who am I to even have a teeny tiny vision? I should just follow along with somebody else's vision. I should just follow along with someone else's vision. Other people are more qualified to have visions. Other people are more qualified to have visions. Who am I to speak up? Who am I to speak up? Who am I to be seen? Who am I to be seen? All this old story. All this old story. That I'm not qualified enough. That I'm not qualified enough. That I'm not important enough. That I'm not important enough. That I'm not smart enough. That I'm not smart enough. That I just don't have what it takes. I just don't have what it takes. I am telling myself lies. I'm telling myself lies. And it's not because I'm bad or stupid. And it's not because I'm bad or stupid. I've just fallen for some old programming. I've just fallen for some old programming. About why I couldn't or shouldn't think bigger. About why I couldn't or shouldn't think bigger. Maybe these are someone else's misunderstandings. Maybe these are someone else's misunderstandings. Where they told me that I wasn't good enough. Where they told me I wasn't good enough. Or it was my own misunderstanding. Or it's my own misunderstanding. Like that time the people laughed at me. Like the time the people laughed at me. And that didn't feel good. And that didn't feel good. Because I didn't think of myself as a comedian. Because I didn't think of myself as a comedian. In which case the laughter would have been a sign of success. <laughs> In which case the laughter would have been a sign of success. But that's not how it was. But that's not how it was. And in my young mind. And in my young mind. Or maybe not so young mind. Or maybe not so young mind. I put an interpretation on it. I put an interpretation on it. And I told myself. And I told myself. This sucks. This sucks. Let's not do this again. Let's not do this again. So when I have a big vision. So when I have a big vision. Or any kind of vision. Or any kind of vision. That part of me steps in. That part of me steps in. And stops me. And stops me. Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You're stepping out of your lane. You're stepping out of your lane. Get back into your own lane. Get back into your own lane. And I love and appreciate that part of me. And I love and appreciate that part of me. That sincerely wants to keep me safe. That sincerely wants to keep me safe. But is sincerely misguided. But it's sincerely misguided. I have, I have a vision for a reason. I have a vision for a reason. I have gifts and talents for a reason. I have gifts and talents for a reason. I'm not here just to be in service of other people's vision. I'm not just here to be in service of other people's visions. I can do that sometimes too. I can do that sometimes too. But I'm worthy and deserving of my own vision. But I'm worthy and deserving of my own vision. And the reason I have it. And the reason I have it. Is because it's the creator's desire for it to be made manifest. Because it's the creator's desire for it to be made manifest. And who am I to stop that? And who am I to stop that? <sighs> thoughts coming up? <laughs> yeah. I choose to know. I choose to know. That it's safe for me to have a bigger vision. It's safe for me to have a bigger vision. It's safe for me to go after what I want. It's 
safe for me to go after what I want. It's safe for me to get out of my comfort zone. It's safe for me to get out of my comfort zone. And it's safe for me to take action. It's safe for me to take action. And I choose to know. And I choose to know. That taking the first step. That taking the first step. Is often the hardest. Is often the hardest. But it leads to momentum. But it leads to momentum. And the next step. And the next step. And I choose to trust. And I choose to trust. That the next step will be revealed. The next step will be revealed. And I'm divinely supported. And I am divinely supported. As I take action. As I take action. I'm feeling ready to take action now. I'm feeling ready to take action now. Maybe even just a baby step. Maybe even just a baby step. And I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about this. Maybe even allowing myself to feel excited. Maybe even allowing <laughs> myself to be excited. Because it's all available for me. Because it's all available for me. And I'm allowing the support. And I'm allowing the support. The right people. The right people. The resources. The resources. And anything else I need. And anything else I need. To show up for me. To show up for me. As I begin my journey. As I begin my journey. Towards my goals and my dreams. Towards my goals and my dreams. And it's safe for me to do this. And it's safe for me to do this. I can handle the this. consequences. I can handle the consequences. Yes. Even if people laugh at me again. E even if people laugh at me again. Because I handled that the last time. Because I handled that the last time. Maybe not as gracefully as I would have liked. <laughs> Maybe not as gracefully as I would have liked. But I'm still here. But I'm still here. Which is proof that I handled it. Which is proof that I handled it. I could handle it even better now. I can handle it even better now. Because now I know how to tap. <laughs> <laughs> because now I know how to tap. And everything I need. And everything I need. Is here in abundance. Is here in abundance. Setting myself free. I'm setting myself free. Allowing myself to feel ready. Allowing myself to feel ready. And allowing myself to move forward. And allowing myself to move forward. Even if I don't feel 100% ready yet. <laughs> Even if I don't feel 100% ready yet. It'll show up. It will show up. <laughs> Setting myself free in body, mind, and spirit. Setting myself free in body, mind, and spirit. And take a deep breath. <sighs> that was good. <laughs> I do love this co-tapping thing. It's it's wonderful. It's really, really, really lovely. Yeah. So. It flows when we're in when we're in sync, and it's not just you and me. It's everyone who's here, and uh, you know this combined energy. Mm. Just uh, it works when we allow ourselves to to show up and be there and and let it happen. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you so like show up this, and let it happen on July thirty first. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We'll be doing this for a whole day. I think we start off again. I know you, you've said this before, but just to kind of make it as time zone friendly as possible, it's very difficult. But um, <laughs> since we're in the UK, we're smack bang in the middle of time zone. <laughs> it's UK friendly hours. <laughs> um, I'm afraid that I will miss the uh, the first couple of the, the live version. I, I will catch the replay of the uh, I think you'll be so excited. You'll wake up so early because you will be in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it starts at midday UK time, actually a little bit earlier. I think 11.30, the doors open for some meet and greet and um, and that kind of thing. And then I think we keep tapping till um, about seven o'clock UK time in the evening. So it's going to be full on, but in a good way. It'll, it'll be powerful. And there really is... Yeah, when I've done full day workshops, it's the the power that happens from that. Mm. And I uh, just, you know, because we clear off one layer and it's like, oh, I found something. Okay, now we can clear that. And then there's, mm. oh, God, clear that too. And yeah, it's it's amazing. 
So one of my friends, um, Inga, actually, who and we came to your 2015 workshop together. We were doing a little clubhouse session earlier and we were talking about this Facebook Live I had coming up with you. And I'm not sure if you've you've heard this story before, but um, Inga actually shared how when she tapped that day, the whole day in 2015 on abundance, on clearing and all sorts, um, she had her best ever month in business as a result. So magical things really awesome. do happen when um, awesome. when you can tap and clear for a whole day. <laughs> yeah, truly, truly. You know, we we are so used to going, okay, I'm tapping. All right, that's enough. I feel okay now. And I was mm. like, wow, when we really dig in and, and clear stuff that uh, give ourselves permission to clear stuff that we normally would have held back. Yeah, you know, it's uh, the, 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 the magic and the miracles that happen are really astounding. Mm, so this is really like kind of a bit of time travel back through the past and right through to the future as well the future vision the future you and yeah it's, it's going to be um i know steve was a bit didn't really like the word magical but i like the word magical it's going to be a magical day <laughs> sorry steve you can call whatever you like steve's still asleep right now i think so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so brilliant i can't wait um, Brad, thank you so much for having me this evening. Um, oh, my pleasure. With you. It's it's so great to spend time with you and so great to spend time with all of you who are joining in. And uh, thank you for the comments. Thanks for being here. And we look forward to tapping with you again soon. Yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye.